you know, make your order for pregame meal and my name wasn't on the list. I mean, even that was tough. Uh, you know, but uh, I got a lot of really good people in my life to help me get through it all. Did they quit feeding you there? <laughs> huh? They quit feeding you there? <laughs> well, I wasn't in the hotel before the game, so, you know, I wasn't. But still, you know, open it up because I, I, we get the text every week. It's in a group. Oh, it's like, oh, better reply to this. And then I look at Lewis. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, it was, that was tough. But uh, I got some good people to keep my mind up. Thanks. So, you what, what road trips? Uh, I, I hope so. I plan on it. Uh, I'll have surgery this Thursday and still be in the hospital on Friday, uh, from my understanding, so I won't be able to make this one. Um, Sucks. I like South Carolina, but uh, uh, I hope to go to Tennessee. Yeah, I do. So, what what role do you have for yourself now? I mean, I, we, Kale and some other guys talked about how much you're talking to them and helping them prepare. What what do you see as the way you can still help this team these last few games? Uh, I mean, the truth is, uh, the defense we're running now. I, I played a lot of snaps in. I know a whole lot about it. Uh, so my job now is just to help where I can, uh, kind of try to give those guys some confidence going into Saturdays. Uh, you know, hopefully they play 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 well, and uh, you know it's a tough position they're in right now. But uh, I'm just trying to do whatever I can to help them out. You kind of is it heartbreaking even more now that they've switched back to a defense you had so much success no, and you're so familiar no, with? No, and, and people ask me that it's not. Like I said, I have. You know, I keep trying to think of something, but I have absolutely no regrets to anything that you know throughout all my time here. So, is, is the plan to rehab this with the intention of, of get yourself ready for a chance in the NFL? Or oh yeah, for yeah. sure, yeah. for sure. Uh, I'm not giving up on anything. I, it's just a little bump in the road for me. I, I know it's uh, it's going to be really difficult, probably the hardest thing I ever deal with in my life. But uh, you know, I've had a had a lot of things happen that where I'm I'm ready for this. This isn't nothing I can't overcome. Did you know when it happened, this is pretty serious, I might be done, or what did you think would it, would it happen? No, uh, you know, I got hit funny, I made a tackle funny, and my foot got stuck in the turf. It hurt a little bit, it didn't hurt that bad. Uh, I knew something was a little off, but once I was able to get up on my feet and kind of walk off the field, I'm like, oh, it's not that bad. Uh, and then we went into the tent, Dr. Smith started feeling on it, and basically looked at me and said, hey, it's not good. Rest is history. So, so did, it looked like you got clipped, and your one of your legs got driven into your other leg as yeah. you were running. Do you know when it I actually have, happened? Did, I have no idea. Um, I, I haven't watched it. I'll, I'll never, <laughs> I'll never watch it. Uh, I, I don't know. It was quick. Uh, it, 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 and even right now, the hard part is it doesn't really hurt that bad. You know, I feel like <laughs> you can tape me up and boom me in, but the reality is that. Uh, Mike, what did it mean to you for Barry to bring you up at the podium just now? Uh, it means a lot. Uh, you know, I couldn't, well, I wasn't expecting him to have, want me to say something about, uh, you know, it, 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 the stuff he said kind of uh, had me a little emotional. That's, you know, the toughest part's reading, reading things from people, getting text messages and phone calls. Uh, you know, and when I hear stuff like that, it just, you know, it, it gets to me. But uh, I, I really appreciate it. Uh, Coach Owen's been like a father to me, and uh, you know I, I couldn't thank him for everything he's done for me and, 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 and just the way he treats me. Is, is, have you been able to reflect a little bit more, not just on your relationship with Coach Owen, but also your teammates and maybe your Mizzou career a little bit more after this injury? Yeah, I mean, like I said, I've you know it's tough. You see, you sit at home and. Sometimes you're all gone, you can't move much. And uh, you know, like I said, I've sat there and you know, thought of everything I could possibly think of, what I could have done differently. And, and it's just, there's nothing, there's absolutely nothing. And so that's what, you know, it gives me peace. And even though this sucks, knowing that my time here, I, I did everything I could. Mike, you said you had a lot of people that have helped you through it. I mean, obviously family, coaches, but you know, it, Who's kind of who's really been there? Stood out to you? Well, you know the funniest funniest part was uh, on at the game. We, we pretty much knew what it was. Mm -hmm. You know, we were hoping differently, but we knew what it was. And uh, uh, I've known Jeremy Macklin for a really long time, uh, a really long time. And he's known my family for for a really long time. And uh, you know, my dad. That's one of the first things he told me. He said, you know, 
if David Jeremy can come back from uh, multiple of these and, and do what he's doing, there's no reason you can't. And, uh, you know, I opened my phone after the game and I saw he had tweeted me and me and him kind of, I didn't want to tweet back at him because I didn't want people to know that <laughs> it was bad. Um, but me and him talked uh, through text for a little bit and, uh, you know, that meant a lot. He basically, you know, told me I could get through it and that he would be there to help me if, if I ever needed anything. Uh, you know, everybody, guys like Evan and Marcus, guys who I've been really good friends with forever, they obviously call me and they've been talking to me ever since. Uh, but, uh, you know, it was, it was definitely a little funny how, uh, you know, I was sitting there. And that's what my dad, my dad said, Jeremy did it. And next thing you know, my phone's popping up and it's Jeremy. So, uh, you know, it's awesome. And even, you know, I'm sitting there thinking, you know, world's over, you know, mm -hmm. everything. And, you know, well, Garrett, Coach Odom's son, came up to me and just said, God's got a plan for you. And, uh, you know, I, I, uh, I really believe that. So I'm going to get through it. Mike, you've been probably Coach Odom's most public supporter advocate for the last year or so. You know, team's in a rut right now. What, what gives you confidence that he's going to be a guy that's going to pull things together here? Because he'll never give up. I mean, no matter what it takes, he's going to fight through it and figure out a way to, to get this team to win. Uh, you know, he's, all the games are fun. We still have a chance to win them all. And, uh, you know, Coach Odom is, uh, is an awesome motivator, and uh, he, he just wants to work. And uh, once guys around here really want it as much as, as he does, uh, which will happen, uh, you'll see things be a little different. Could you sense how hard that was?